It's been a while since I've done a tasting video, and I found something at the store that piqued my interest. It's Liquid Death. I didn't know that there were places that sold this locally. So, I've seen the commercials. They look pretty interesting. I've seen the ads all over social media. So, this one is just the basic drinking water because I can't stand uh, hairspray in a can. Yes, I'm ripping on uh, some of the other branded stuff that's out there. No. So, liquid death. Mountain water. Drinking water from the Alps. This infinitely recyclable can of stone cold mountain water came straight from the Alps to murder your thirst. Okay, so when a group of teenagers set off into the mountains for a weekend of regular water in plastic bottles, they became hunted by a aluminum can of mountain water that was dead set on murdering their thirst and recycling their souls. Once cracked open, no thirst is safe from liquid death. After ritually dismembering its thirst victims, this brutal can of water used the severed body parts of dead thirst to build itself a flesh suit, which it used as a disguise to get a job in marketing. But Liquid Death never took the job. It just murdered a bunch more thirst instead. <laughs> I dig it. Hashtag death to plastic. Donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. That is awesome. Um... Follow that source. Franken Mark Mark Austria. Bottle for Liquid Death. Starzinger von Hofstrass 1. Franken Mark Austria. Made in Austria for water quality call or visit liquiddeath.com. Average aluminum can contains 70% recycled material. Average of plastic bottle contains only 3%. Okay. Well, let's try this. Of course, there's no smell. Good thing. It has a bit of an aftertaste. Like, I'm one of those people that can tell the differences with aftertaste with water whether it's like high chlorine count or if a plastic is leached into it. It's different with this. I'm guessing some of the uh, metal, it probably has a little bit of a taste from that. I don't know. It's all right water. And because it's been sitting in the fridge for uh, a couple days, whoo, it is cold. Mm, excuse me. Of course, unlike the other videos, there's no huge belch because there's no carbonation. Where did I get this for water? I used uh, one of those pitchers with has a filter in it, so not likely. One of the other oddities that I've tried over the years that could be similar to the idea is box water. I've had that before. I have it for quite a bit. It's good. But when you have filtered water available, you don't really want to pay for something like that. A little bit of a taste, but other than that, it's pretty good. I dig it. I'll be back with another tasting video eventually. <laughs> I got a lot of drinks to cover. If they haven't been covered by already, depending on my editing schedule. We'll see. But if you made it this far, thank you and let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you later. <laughs>